Hello, hi everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today, we are checking out of Alani and moving to a new hotel in Waikiki Beach. Is it awesome or is it not what we expected? We'll be checking out the beautiful windward side of the island where we'll go snorkeling at Hanauma Bay and we'll be celebrating hitting 300,000 subscribers on YouTube by eating an incredible dinner basically inside of Jurassic Park. Why don't you come with us on this adventure? Last morning, we check out today. We're only here for a few days this trip, but the trip is not over yet. Time to pack up all our stuff, cut a lot of it, and make our way to Waikiki. So our friends over at Mouse Vibes, go check out their channel. They have this tradition, whenever they leave a hotel room, they say, goodbye, hotel room. We should go out on the balcony and say, goodbye, Alani. Okay, let's do it. Goodbye, goodbye Alani. Alani. I don't want to leave. It's so beautiful here. I Sad, hope... Sadly, I don't think there's room for us anymore. I know. I, it, I shouldn't be complaining because we're going to another part of Hawaii, so it's really not that bad. But I did want to say we didn't really get a chance on this trip to like walk around the entire resort and film it for you, but we do have a video that's a full tour of Alani, and I'll put it right here if you want to check it out from the last time we came. Yeah. Okay, well, goodbye, Alani. See you soon, hopefully. We need some towels for later today when we go snorkeling, so I'm going to the island country markets. Green for me and blue for Kitra. It's a little too early for us to check in at our new hotel, so I think we're going to stop for a little bit of breakfast. There's so many military trucks here in Hawaii. We don't usually see that in Southern California. But look at the clouds like covering the mountains over there. Beautiful here. Okay, so we've gotten off the highway and now we're driving around the outskirts of Honolulu looking for this little bakery. We finally made it to Lily Ha Bakery. This place has been recommended to us by so many people. If you look up Oahu and you look up all the top bakeries around the island, this is one of them. So let's check it out. This opened in 1950. They've since expanded to five locations. I think the family that owned this sold it about 15 years ago. So it's now owned by a big company, but it's supposed to be just as good. And they have two main things that we need to get. We're actually at the original location in Honolulu, and they have a little diner in the corner that serves hot food as well as the bakery over here. And it's since it's the original location, there's only like 20 seats there. It's super small, very like local, and just like a cool vibe in here. Standing in line, I'm looking at all these little cakes and baked goods. I want to try like everything. Can I get a sampler for everything? This is their coffee cake. How freaking good does that look? Oh my god, look at this hot dog roll. What even is that? They got like these mini pepperoni pizza rolls. They also do custom cakes. How beautiful it is. But what this place is mostly known for is their cocoa puff. On the sign here it says it's world famous. And if you read anything about this place, you know to get the cocoa puff. They even have malasadas here. Last time we were in Oahu, we went to Leonard's. They're like world famous for the malasadas. I'm so intrigued to try the ones here, but we already got our, we got, a, we got enough items to try. So maybe next time. So we got four things to sample today. Yeah. Some of the four of their most famous things. First item that I'm gonna try is the iconic cocoa puff. And what I've been told is this is kind of like an eclair. You keep it refrigerated and it's a pastry that has like chocolate pudding on the inside and a coconut vanilla type of frosting on top. I'm very excited to try this. They had a few different flavors. So, but this is the one that like is the most, they're most known for. Oh my God. Wow. This is so flavorful. If you like chocolate pudding, <laughs> Mixed with the pastry, you're gonna love this. There's like so much filling in there. It's kind of crazy. This definitely gets a five out of five. They sell them like by the dozen there. Like you could just come in and grab like a to-go container. They have them ready because <laughs> they're that popular. This is a must try. There's a fire department and I think they're like practicing right across the street. There's like a bell going off. I bet you for their lunch break they come over and they just grab a box of cocoa puffs. I would if I if I was a firefighter over there. Just saying. 
And I decided to get the cream puff, which is just basically like the cocoa puff, but I think vanilla, maybe? Let's see. I've had cream puffs before. This feels so fresh. The inside is like refrigerated, but the outside is like soft. I now understand why people get like boxes of this stuff because <laughs> I'd just be there like eating all the stuff. The next thing I'm gonna try is something that is a newer classic. This bakery has been around for like 70 years and this is something that just recently became super popular. It's the Poi Mochi Donut. Oh my God, oh, this is so good. It's hard to describe because this tastes like a classic donut, but it's a little bit more chewier because of the mochi, I'm guessing. But it is so flavorful. It has that just classic glaze on top, but then the inside, it tastes like poi, but like sweet poi. Like there's a bunch of sugar in it, which I, I guess I'm a fan of poi now. <laughs> like if I just eat it like this all the time, I'll gladly enjoy it. This is bomb.com. And like, think of the Instagram photos you could take. <laughs> five out of five. I'm not the biggest chocolate fanatic. So I think I like the cream puff over the cocoa puff. So my ranking is cream puff, cocoa puff, and then the mochi donut. My ranking is way up here is the, the mochi poi donut, then the cocoa puff, then right below it is the cream puff. That freaking mochi donut was amazing. <laughs> and of course, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't find some chickens hanging out at the Lily Hub Bakery. Hi guys. You guys like the poi donut? Or do you like the cocoa puff? Why are you running away from me? Okay, bye. And now we're off to our new hotel. Are you excited to be in Waikiki? Uh. I don't know, it's kind of like the most touristy part of this island. It's like the Las Vegas Strip. But we're not just going to stay in this area, so... I think I'm excited because we didn't really get to explore it the last time we were here. Yeah. So we're going to explore it a little bit, but like he said, we, we have a car. We're going to go many places. So the hotel that we're staying at at Waikiki is the Halapuna by Halakuan. So it's right across the street from the beach. It's not on the beach. The Halpulani Hotel is right there, and then the beach is right there, but you just get to cross the beach. Or you get to cross the street. You know what I'm saying. This hotel is one of the highest rated hotels on both Yelp and Google. Unfortunately, we're here at like 11.20, and our room isn't gonna be ready for a couple hours. So we're gonna walk across the street and check out the beach for a little bit. So we're staying right across the street, right over there. And right now we're at the Halkalani, which is the sister property, the hotel that we're staying at. And the beach is right out there. Here's their pool. We don't have access to this one, but we have like a rooftop pool. We'll show you later. So that's our hotel right there. We thought since it was owned by the same company, we could cut through this resort. No, you need, you need to be staying at this resort and you need a hotel room key. So someone was nice enough to let us out, but there is a public access way here. Yeah, so it's future, very easy. It's very, very easy. It's actually probably easier than walking through the hotel. Yes, so we figured it out. Let's hang out at the beach for a few minutes before we go do our next swing. Okay, so here is a look at the beach right here. It's a little small beach. Oh, oh no. I'm wearing my sandals still, so. <laughs> what? I will. Okay, well, I'm going in the water. Okay, you do that. So this is the Sheridan right here, right next to it I think is the Royal Hawaiian. And then there's a small little patch of beach here. There's Diamond Head right over there. And this is where we are right now. I think they do like some surf lessons. There's like some surfboards and stuff over there. There's some people learning how to surf out there, looks like. It's interesting because it looks like they used to have like a cut through walkway here. But it looks like the beach has eroded and it's now closed. Such a beautiful, iconic view with Diamond Head right there in the background. We might even try to attempt that hike. We're not 100% sure yet, but it might be on our list in the future. Yeah, some but people say it's easy. Oops. You're a freak with your shoes on. <laughs> you gotta get in the beach life, man. Yeah. Take off your sandals. Yeah, a lot of people were saying it was easy, and then like when we talked about it on the live stream, a lot of people were like... A lot of people messaged me and they said, because I'm recovering from my ankle injury, 
They said it wouldn't be good for that, but we might still try it. I don't know. Um, but the next thing that we're going to go try to do today is we're actually going to go try to swim. So we're not going to get in the water here. We're going to get in the water somewhere else. Okay, let's go. I think it, we got to get going. Yeah. We'd like to thank BASE for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Our trip to Hawaii was so much easier thanks to base carry-on roller luggage. You never feel like you're dragging the luggage around with you. The 360 degree gliding wheels make it so easy to get around and the cushion candle makes it feel so nice. We had a lot planned for Hawaii, which means we had to pack a lot of clothes, but the good news is, is that base lets you pack more clothes in the same amount of space thanks to the expandable compression straps. People absolutely love these bags. Base has over 30,000 five-star reviews. Right now, Base is offering our viewers 15% off your first purchase when you go to basetravel.com slash ordinary. Go to basetravel.com slash ordinary for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S travel.com slash ordinary. With the holidays fastly approaching, Base Luggage makes a great gift for your family or friends even your dog, huh, Gizmo? <laughs> or just something to treat yourself to. And now, back to our adventure. Now we're back on the road and we're headed to Hanoma Bay, which is one of the most popular snorkeling destinations on the island. It's become a nature preserve. You need to make reservations. They become available two days in advance. You gotta pay and you get in there and you have a time that you have to go and check in. It's very popular, it's hard to get in. We're getting in there, I think, an hour before it closes, so hopefully we get enough time snorkeling with the fishes. Oh my God, I'm so excited, 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 I'm so excited. Cause we were talking to my friend and she said that she came and the parking lot was full and she couldn't go because there were so many cars. So I was worried that we were gonna get to go, but they let us in. So I'm guessing that the parking lot isn't full. And am I and gonna we, have to pay Fiverr to turn this into a song? And we, came, we got here 45 minutes early because we wanted to make sure to get a parking spot. We are here. Parking is $3 cash only. They only take cash, so we got some cash out. That's the bay down there. So that's where we're gonna go snorkeling. Yeah, look at it, isn't it beautiful? The word Hana means bay in the Hawaiian language, so this is Bay Bay. Bay Bay. <laughs> so it's not, it kind of doesn't make any sense. The other thing is there's 400 species of fish down there. Wow. Back in the 80s, up to 13,000 people per day used to come and snorkel here and enjoy this park. And now with the reservations, it's only 720 people per day which is kind of insane. Like, could you imagine this being super crowded? Listen to that bird. And they do have a snack stand that's located outside of the bay. You can get a variety of stuff. And if you want, you can bring in your own cooler, but they say pick up after yourself. It's open daily 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. and it's closed right now Mondays and Tuesdays and it's 25 bucks. And no pets allowed. Yeah, sorry Gizmo. There's some information on the tides. This it's like a little miniature of the bay. Yeah, if you look really closely, you could see us right down there. Yeah? Is this a bay for ants? <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you to make that joke. I was just reading down here that uma means curved or arm wrestling. So it actually means curved bay or arm wrestle bay. Everybody who comes here has to watch an orientation video basically just telling you how to protect the coral, respect nature, to be a good person. Please do not poke or touch anything that's alive. Uh, that includes any other rock that you're swimming around. It's all part of the living reef that forms the foundation of the ecosystem you're here to enjoy today. Uh, even if coral might not look like an animal, it's made of millions of little ones called polyps. Uh, they live together in colonies and work together out there with limu or marine plants and little microorganisms to all do their jobs and keep the balance. So basically we watched an eight minute video. The Cliff Notes version is don't touch or feed anything. You have the option of taking a tram up or down the hill, but we're choosing to walk down and we're gonna take the tram up because the views. So there's a couple area with rip currents and a sudden drop off, so we gotta avoid those. Yeah, so remember that, Peter. We don't want any sudden drop off. Okay, so my first impression is I didn't expect this to be such a beautiful beach. I thought like it was like a snorkeling location, but like 
I can understand why people would just come here and like be at the beach for the day. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to get in the water, see some fishies. So you can rent snorkeling gear. The premium package includes mass fins and a dry snorkel for 20 bucks. You could probably buy that at the EBC store for about the same price. But we didn't want to like, we didn't know how to treat the snorkel gear and it can get fogged up easy. So we thought we'd just rent it here, be easier. We got our snorkel gear. We decided to go without the fins. So they do have a bunch of bathrooms and changing rooms down here. And also there are lifeguards on duty. If anything go wrong, wave your arms. I am ready. Let's do this. See anything? No. I think we gotta go out there. So whenever I turn the camera on, I keep seeing the same type of little striped fish. And then whenever I turn the camera off, I keep seeing these like beautiful colored fish. I feel like they know, they know that the GoPro's on and they, they hide from me. See that fish? The water's a little bit hazy. A little bit more wave. I know, it's kind of... <laughs> you gotta be a good swimmer to come out here. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you headed, Crystal? See that? Yes. Did you see that swarm of fish? Yes, that was amazing. Do you see those blue ones? I saw all of them. <laughs> the blue ones did not look real. They looked like from they were, they were from Avatar. Or the something. fact that there's 400 different types of fish in here, but we've probably only seen like 15. <laughs> I know it's insane. So I want to say that these waves might look small on camera. They push you around and they can like push you into a reef. You got to watch out because it can it can get like push. You see like the, the fish getting pushed around and you get it pushed around just like those fish. I gotta be honest with you, uh, we've done this before like in the Caribbean. I've never seen this many fish. Yeah. This is like amazing. I'm sure you, you all are watching this on, on YouTube and it's like a boring montage set to music. I've watched a lot of videos from Hawaii and, and I know how it is. I can't tell you how beautiful these, these fish is. These fish, fish eye, fishes are <laughs> in person. And it's such a rush when you find, like, something cool. Oh my god! Look at this! 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 Oh, <laughs> 
How beautiful. Dude, we just saw so many good ones in a row. This is totally worth the $25. This is <laughs> so awesome. This is one of the best things we've ever done here, I think. I think we need to come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, reservations are gone. I so. know, you're right. Actually, no, Monday and Tuesday they're closed. Dang it. And of course you exit through the gift shop. Do you need this t-shirt? I mean, I think I saw one that looked like that, so maybe. Hey look, that's the fish of Hawaii. I know, would, it, would I be like such a, a tourist if I bought this shirt? How many of these do you think we saw today? Uh, at least like five of them. Yeah, I would say like five or six. Yeah. How many of these did we see today? Zero. I snorkeled and then I dragged myself, complained a lot, nearly passed out and barely made it back to the parking lot at the top of the hill at Hanama Bay. I need this t-shirt. This is like so true. <laughs> Peter was just like, oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> Me too. That it was, was a workout. It was hard. It was hard work. I kind of like this hat, even though we didn't see a turtle. I think if I did this again, I would get the fin because it was sometimes hard to move, especially with the current against you, trying to follow where the where you see the fish are. We have some snorkeling kitties. It's like, we like the fish. They're like, leave us alone. We're closed. Oh, someone gives them water. That's cool. That was incredible. There was this one point where I saw this huge fish and I was following it around for like 10 minutes and I was trying to get Peter's attention and he couldn't hear me. And I look over and he like literally was like flopping around, like splashing his legs and you see everybody out there snorkeling and they're all peaceful and just floating. <laughs> what I like to do is just kind of float there. Hey, and the then Peter I, fish does is not graceful. How awesome was that? Did it live up to all the hype that I gave it? It was incredible. Trust me, it's cooler than it looks. It was just like, it was, it was probably one of the best things we've done in Hawaii. We had plans to do so many things today. We were gonna do so much sightseeing and for whatever reason, things just, things go wrong sometimes. And uh, you just gotta like, shift things around. Oh my God. I know. This is like, do you see that? Yeah, I, we came over to this area earlier. Down there is where the blowhole is that we saw last time. Oh yeah. But we didn't really drive past this point. Oh, I'm excited. We're gonna go get some food just past here. Yeah, we're doing more food. Sorry guys, but <laughs> but we're hungry. We literally had like two donuts this morning and it's now almost 4 p.m. By the way, I'm not sure if you know this, but snorkeling in an ocean where there's actually like significant waves, you're not just like in a cove or something, kind of drains you. <laughs> it does. Yeah. We didn't have that much substance this morning. I think like this is my favorite side of the island. It's called the windward side of the island and it's just so beautiful over here. Like I cannot get enough. So we stopped on the side of the road because we missed the scenic outlook. I was not expecting the water to be that blue. There are so many people surfing here too. It's pretty incredible. Look at this. It, and even behind you, look at that. I don't know if you can see how cool that is. There's a lighthouse over there too, you see that? Oh, he, he tumbled. It never gets old watching people surf. And like when they get a really good wave and then like when they wipe out. We could barely snorkel. <laughs> That's true. So it looks like there's like two islands out there. I'm wondering if there's like anything on them. Yeah, don't you remember? We learned a whole story about Maui and how it, it broke off into like a bunch of different pieces. So that's why there's all these little specks all over, all these little islands. Ah, okay. Forgot already. Dun, 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 dun. Is that where the dinosaurs are? Yes. <laughs> Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. It's hard to see. Wow. Listen to the, no the sound of nature. In cars. In cars. And chicken. We came across our first stoplight in a while. <laughs> and a 
7-Eleven. And a gas station. Everyone says that the 7-Elevens in Hawaii are like actually awesome. Look at the girl. Wow. Look, they're all riding a turtle. <laughs> that tree coming over the road. Uh, I like want to stop every five seconds and just like take photos and stuff. All goes according to plan. We're going to be eating around here somewhere. Dang. <laughs> so the views just keep on getting better and better. It's insane. Continue on Hawaii 83 West for one mile. So I think the windward side of the island gets more rain. That's why it's like more lush, more green. And if that's not true, then Kitra will not put this clip in the video. For dinner, we're heading to Kaneohe for Haliva Joe's. And I know that's a little confusing because Haliva is the town in the North Shore. That's the, where Joe first set up shop. This is his second location. And this one, let's say it's maybe the prettiest restaurant in all of Oahu. Your destination is on the left. So this place opens at 4 p.m. We got here at 4.30. It's gonna be like an hour wait. There's no reservations, you have to just show up. We probably should've got here a little earlier, but we got sidetracked with the views. Where did you bring me? This is absolutely amazing. There's like a little garden area that you can walk around. You know, so we're gonna do that before, so we have an hour to kill. But just look at this. Wow, 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 wow. One of our fish friends. Finally found a turtle. I don't think that's a Hawaiian green turtle. No. But we found a turtle. <laughs> we found a pond turtle. It looks like Jurassic Park over here. This is gonna sound really weird, but like, it smells like nature. <laughs> like, you know when you're camping or you're just someplace and it just smells like nature? You just smell all the different plants and flowers and it just smells so good. <laughs> Look at this tree. Insane. It's so cool. I just love how this looks like it's abandoned with like the moss overtaking the concrete. <laughs> you just hear chickens like in the background. Why'd the chicken cross the road? Why? To get to the other side. That joke is lame. We're only three people away from hitting 300,000 subscribers. That's insane. Hopefully we get it right when we sit down and order a cocktail so we can cheers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're one person away. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Question is, how many times am I going to do this? <laughs> wow, I really was not expecting it to be that quick. <laughs> Me neither. Congratulations. Congratulations, honey. We did it and we're in Hawaii. Time to celebrate. <laughs> you liked your joke so much, she's back. Hello, away. He's hungry. Ordinary Adventures pro tip, this restaurant opens at 4 p.m. There are no reservations, so get here as early as you can because people start lining up. We got here at like 4.30 and we had to wait about an hour, just to let you know. But you can request a table with an amazing view. I mean, all the tables have a good view, but if you want a table like right next to the railing, you could just ask the hostesses and they will accommodate you. Look at our view. One of Hawaii's prettiest restaurants. I didn't mean that the restaurant was pretty, I meant that the view was pretty. Okay. And you know, it's sunset at this time of year around six, so you gotta get here before it opens if you want, if you actually want to see the view. Joining us for dinner. And of course, while you're here, you need to get yourself a drink. And I got the Clark's Mai Tai. This has light rum, dark rum, orange juice, and pineapple juice with a float of 151 rum. 
as it should be done, any Mai Tai should have a floater. Cheers stuff. Ooh. I mean, it's basically a classic Mai Tai, but that rum, I think there's a heavy pour here. Yeah, Which, it has 151 in it. Yeah, it's the 151. It basically, you can taste the alcohol and it's really good. It's, it's smooth, tropical. It's like perfect, this view, five out of five Peters. And I ordered myself the Lee Hing Margarita. This is a margarita made with a Lee Hing powder, sweet and tangy, comes on the rocks or blended. I got it on the rocks because I'm not really a blended girl. That's more Peter's thing. But I'm excited to try this. Ooh. Oh yeah, you gotta get the rim. Ooh. Uh, Lee Hing is a sour plum powder that they put on a lot of stuff here. This is so good. Holy crap. They have like a, some sort of version of this at Alani that we were just staying at. This is like a million times better. It's like tart and sweet and sugary and sour all at the same time. Five out of five. Amazing. The menu has a bunch of poo-poos. Poo-poos are like, not what comes out of your butt, but it's, it's an appetizer, like the poo-poo platter. And a lot of them are actually fish-based. As you know, I don't eat fish, so we ordered <laughs> the one thing on the poo-poo menu that is not fish, and that is the garlic bread. And this is whole roasted with garlic. It looks huge, looks fantastic. As you know, I'm a connoisseur of garlic bread. There's no cheese on here, as far as I can tell. A lot of garlic bread comes with cheese, unadvertised. Garlic cheese bread. This is just old-fashioned garlic bread. It's crispy on the outside, the buttery garlic just melts in your mouth. Five out of five feeders. Wow. One of the appetizers that the server recommended is the luau crab dip. This has luau leaf, coconut milk, cream cheese, and toasted flatbread. It looks good. It looks like a lot of crab dip for just me. <laughs> well, we have to do it for science. We do. Oh yeah, once you break into that, look at how creamy that is. It smells very good. Wow. You could definitely taste the crab. It's very seafood heavy. I don't think you would like this one, Peter, but I love it with the coconut milk and the cream cheese. It is so creamy. My only complaint, I think, is maybe the pita bread. I need more of it and it could be a little bit softer, but besides that, this is bomb.com and it probably is like a four out of five. All mine because you don't eat seafood. You can have it. I'll have the garlic bread. They also just brought over some bread for the table, which I didn't realize they did. I think we ordered too much. But it's just normal bread, but they give you a guava butter spread. I still can't get over that we're eating in front of Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's starting to get like creepy out. <laughs> the dinosaurs come out at night. For my entree, I got the grilled fish, and this is actually grilled marlin. They got all the fish fresh here. This comes with macadamia nut pesto, lobster cream sauce, and garlic mashed potatoes. How beautiful does this look? It looks, it almost looks too good to eat. I don't think I've ever had marlin before. Is that like the dad from Finding Nemo? That was just his name, Peter. It's a different kind of fish, okay? I think those were clownfish. I would never eat those. I think I've become obsessed with macadamia nut pesto because I also had macadamia nut pesto on the pizza the other night that we got at Monkey Pod. It's so good. This is absolutely incredible. I guess I'm a fan of Marlin now. I'm sorry, Nemo. It's got to be done. And then it comes with like these garlic mashed potatoes and the lobster cream sauce. You just mix everything together and it's so Good. We know it's gonna be five, we get it. It's good. When you come to Joe's, fish is the specialty here. That said, the number one item that everybody orders is the prime rib. And when they brought this over, I wish we recorded it because Kitra and I both visibly, audibly, not visibly, actually visibly and audibly gasped out loud at how huge this prime rib is. It's probably the biggest prime rib I've ever seen. 
It comes with au jus, horseradish cream sauce, local vegetables, and garlic mashed potatoes. This is how big the margarita is. This is how big the prime rib is. Do you see? It's like literally almost as tall as the margarita. <laughs> God. I ordered medium, perfectly cooked. Hawaii is a very touristy place. Everything is very expensive. This is $59 right now. And honestly, I don't think this is overpriced. For that, especially for the amount that you get. The aju just gives it all the flavors. I'm gonna be in a meat coma. This is insane. I dare anybody to actually finish this thing. I know I can't finish this thing. I think if you had two people, you couldn't even finish this thing with two people. It's getting five out of five, Peters. 100%. I'm starting to think that we ordered too much food and that we literally could have just ordered that prime rib and shared that and not even finish it and been full. Lesson learned for next time. I don't know how I'm going to finish this, guys. You know in the Flintstones when they put that like rack of ribs on Fred's car and it like tips over? That's what I feel like about this prime rib. <laughs> and we're not done. We had to get dessert. It was recommended to us to get the Paradise Pie. This is Kona coffee ice cream, Oreo cookie crust, Belgian chocolate sauce, and roasted almonds. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Oh my God. That's not even all of it. What are we doing? We're, we got so much food. <laughs> if you guys could smell, if you could smell this. It's like, it's like the mixture of earlier, remember I said, if you could only smell the, the jungle outside, it's a combination of the jungle and now the chocolate and the coffee ice cream. This is decadent. This is definitely paradise. It's, it's no wonder they call it paradise pie. I didn't even have my coffee this morning, so I feel like this is making up for it. <laughs> oh no, all the whipped cream. Okay. Five out of five. Ordinary country star. I'm already calling it. Good call on that one, Peter. You did good this time. I didn't do good other times? Ladies, get yourself a man who finds the best restaurants. <laughs> Just saying. He's never steered me wrong. Maybe like once or twice, but for the most part, he's got a good track record. The funny thing is, this is one of the few ones I found on TikTok. <laughs> Just gone to P.F. Chang's. When you come to Hawaii, do not go to P.F. Chang's. Go to where we went. So this is our room, 1202. Yay! Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Is it good? This is nice. Oh, my goodness. Too bad it's nighttime, so I can't see our view, but I'm sure it's great. It looks, like, updated and modern. Yeah, it's totally different than the lobby. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. So I said when I made the reservation that it was my birthday, because it is on November 12th, and I sent a bottle of a red wine. That's This is actually your favorite kind of wine, Cabernet Sauvignon or whatever. Yeah. It's like they knew. <laughs> How nice of them. Yeah, that's cool. So we got a dresser here. Got a fun little reading chair. What is out here? I guess. <laughs> Can't see. And they just delivered our luggage. Yeah. Let's see the view. This is cool. I didn't realize we had a balcony. You just said <laughs> ocean view, and I was like, okay, whatever. Just expecting a window. Wow, this is going to be quite beautiful when we wake up. <laughs> the Sheraton is blocking our view of Diamond Head, but it's okay. We've got a little sliver of the ocean right here. Well, they also left us some sanitizer and masks. And over here we have a Keurig. Ooh, look at that fancy mini fridge. This is nice. This room feels like brand new. we got a little closet over here. There is a safe heading right over there. Our luggage. When I first walked in here, I was like, oh my God, all of our windows are open. Where are the curtains? Well, they're automatic. You push a button. So let's go ahead and we want blackout. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh my God, this is so 
bright and white in here. This is nice. There's a huge mirror. Oh, I forgot to tell you. What? So way earlier today, I had to use the restroom in this hotel and they have Japanese toilets here. Oh, did they? Oh, that makes sense. And we have one in our room. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so we can like, yeah. It, like, nice. it had like a seat warmer. I like the marble countertops here. It's really nice. Like we have an adjustable shower head and a bath. Wow. All right, let's do the flush test. There's a remote <laughs> of all the stuff I could do. There's lights and okay, see open close. Ooh. Oh, that's too far. That's only for men. Okay, hold on. There we go. And then, can I flush it from over here? Full flush or a light flush? We need full. Okay, ready? One, two. Wow, very polite. Yeah, not like strong. I, I mean, I'd give it like a, a four out of five. This gets a five out of five, honey. This what? is a this is a robot toilet. I mean, the toilet gets a five out of five, but I think the flush was a little less strong than I would care for. <laughs> You're way too amused. Dude, I was using it earlier and it was literally heating my butt as I was peeing. It was amazing. Look at that. You have like a light coming up <laughs> up above the shower. You did a good job picking this hotel. We like contemplated for weeks of which hotel to get in Waikiki. And it was between like five different ones. And then out of the blue, Peter was like, I booked this one. It wasn't even on our radar, but it has like the highest, it has like five out of five stars on like Yelp and like all the- In Google. Google. It's so, one of the highest rated on both of those. Yeah, so I could see why. I mean, they do have a robot toilet. If you want to see more of our Hawaii adventures, put the playlist right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes B. Jordan, Agent Cooper, Bailey Riddle, and the Traveling Tauntaun. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. Mahalo.